Okay, so today we're going to work on operations with complex numbers. All right, so I would like you to do the try this. So put me in pause and uh, try one, two, and three, and then come back. Okay, so hopefully you did the try this, and the first one is i to the 57. So remember, you can plug that into your calculator. You do i part, and then you go over the num. Uh, so you press math, go over the number. It's number three. It says i part. Then type in i carrot key 57 and hit equals and you get i to the 57 is equal to i. Alright, now let's do 2i squared plus 6i to the 12th plus i to the 8th. So you're going to do each one of these separately. You can't plug the whole thing in at one time. So you can plug in, so do 2, go to i part, i squared, and you get negative 2. Plus, type in 6, i part, i to the 12th, and you get 6. Plus, Math, i part, i to the eighth, you get one. So that's negative two plus six plus one is five. All right, so now we have number three, two thirds, the square root of negative 117. So the first thing is we're gonna take that negative and make it i. So it's two thirds i, the square root of 117. Now we have to simplify the square root of 117. So we wanna find the largest perfect square that goes into 117, and that is nine. 9 times 13 is 117. The square root of 9 is 3. So bring this all down. So 2 thirds i times 3, the square root of 13. And 2 thirds times 3, so you multiply them, 2 thirds times 3 is 2. So it's 2i, the square root of 13. All right, so let's talk about what a complex number is. A complex number is a number that is written in this form, a plus B, I. So A is your real number, and your B, I is your, is your imaginary number. So any number can be written as an imaginary number. So for instance, like 5 can be written as an imaginary number by just doing 5 plus 0, I. Um, 3, I can be written as a complex number by just doing 0 plus 3, I. All right, let's talk about adding and subtracting complex numbers. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to change your square root of your negative 1, which is just your negative, make that an i. Okay, so you change your negatives underneath your radicals to i, and then you could simplify your radicals. So this is what we did yesterday, and then you're going to want to combine like terms. So remember though, when you subtract, remember to distribute the negative one. Okay, so let's take a look at the first example. 4 plus the square root of negative 1 plus 3 plus the square root of negative 49. So we're going to take care of this first. So this is, and I'm adding here. So see this adding in here? So I could get rid of the parentheses as I rewrite it. So I have, sorry. So I have 4 plus the square root of negative 1 is just 1i plus 3 plus the square root of negative 49 is 7i. And then you combine like terms. So 4 plus 3 is 7. 1i plus 7i is positive 8i. So it's 7 plus 8i. Okay, let's take a look at number 2. Okay, so now notice I have a minus here. So I'm going to have to keep everything in parentheses until I distribute. So I'm going to get rid of these negatives. And 129 uh, 128 and 98 are not perfect squares, so I'm going to have to simplify. So I have 5 minus i, the square root of 128. Okay, so now I want to simplify the square root of 128. So that is 64 and 2. The square root of 64 is 8. So it's going to be 5 minus 8i, the square root of 2, minus. So we have negative 5 minus i, the square root of 98. And the perfect square that goes into 98 is 49 times 2. 
So this is going to become negative 5 minus 7i, the square root of 2. Combine like, uh, we distribute the negative 1. So it's, now we could get rid of the parentheses. So I have 5 minus 8i, the square root of 2, plus 5 plus 7i, the square root of 2. So combine like terms, I have 5 plus 5 is 10. This is one term, and this is one term. They're like terms. They both have the same radical 2, and it's negative 8i plus 7i is negative 1i, the square root of 2. All right, let's talk about multiplying. Okay, so when you multiply, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to change, same thing as before, the square root of your negative 1 to i and simplify the radical. Then you're going to distribute. Obviously, if it's just a monomial times a monomial, it's just multiplying. And then you simplify again at the end. Okay, so let's see. I have 6, minus th uh, six times 3 minus 2i. So that's 6 times 3 is 18. And 6 times negative 2 is negative 12i. So that's done. There's nothing to do there. All right, let's take a look at this. A binomial times a binomial. So keep it in parentheses. i got to simplify the radical. So it's 3 plus 7i times 1 minus 2i. And now you have to distribute. So 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times negative 2i is negative 6i. 7i times 1 is 7i. 7i times negative 2 is negative 14i squared. Now remember, i squared is equal to negative 1. So therefore, this here is going to become negative 14 times negative 1, which becomes positive 14. So I have 3. I have negative 6i plus 7i. That's positive 1i. And now 3 plus 14 is 17 plus i. Okay, so flip it over. Let's take a look at dividing. Okay, so dividing, almost the same exact thing. You're going to start by changing. The square root of negative 1 to i. You're going to divide. You divide. Coefficients. And divide. Radicals. Now, if you can't divide the coefficients, if you have to, just reduce. And 3, you're going to simplify. Okay, so I have the square root of negative 75 divided by the square root of negative 3. So that's i the square root of 75 divided by i the square root of 3. So I have i divided by i, that reduces to 1. And then I have the square root of 75 divided by the square root of 3 is the square root of 25, which is equal to 5. All right, so let's take a look at the next one. I have 6 over 2 minus, well, actually, let me write it like this. I have 6 minus 4i over 2. If you want, you could separate it, or remember, you, you can make a heart. What goes into 6, 4, and 2? That's 3. Oh, sorry, that's 2. It goes into 6 three times, into 4 twice, into 2 once. So I'm left with 3 minus 2i. And the last one here, same thing. We could um, make a heart if you want. So I have 9 divided by 3 is 3. i to the third divided by i to the second. Remember, you divide, you subtract the exponents. That's i to the first, which is just i. Minus 15 divided by 3 is 5. And then i squared divided by i squared, that's just 1, so I don't need that. And then it should be written as negative 5 plus 3i. That's, that's an i. Because that's A plus B I form. Okay, so that's it, and we'll practice more in class tomorrow night. Have a good night.